Okay, guys, this is the Hot Wheels 9 pack. Um, with this one has the exclusive car appears to be a Trans Am, a purple Trans Am. Uh, like the Matchbox fi uh, 9, I said 5 pack, I think. Then, like the Matchbox 9 packs, um, the Packages do not have a specific name. Uh, you can see all of the sponsors and such stuff on the the back of these. Um, so the boxes are for each uh, each set. Like uh, this box will have different sponsors than this one here. But, um, they don't have, like, individual names or anything. Alright, so my favorite thing in here already is this Corvette here. Um, partially because this is one of my, it's not my favorite Hot Wheels car. The Byway Man Chevy truck is my favorite. Um, but it's probably in my top five favorites. Um, I have quite a few of, of, of the, uh, of the Stingray Corvette. I also like that it has the, the slotted wheels. Um, I think that's what they're called because they used to use those wheels on the, uh, classics, Hot Wheels classics, well, when they quit doing that, uh, series. I didn't see those wheels anymore for a long time, so it's nice to see them on something. Uh, we also, there's a lot of really cool ones in here, though. We have the um, 75th anniversary of Mattel, which I'll probably get pretty in-depth with that one. We have this really, really cool Datsun pickup here, probably a 620 pickup. Um, got a pretty cool uh, Mini Cooper here, Emerald Green Mini Cooper. Uh, so let's get into this box here. All right, those wheels I was talking about are called retro slots. These wheels here. All right. Let's get that big box out of the way here. If I knew I needed to do that, I would have set them up off the camera. That's not going to work. But anyway, we're just going to throw it down because it's not working. Uh, we're going to check out the uh, exclusive car first. This is the purple Trans Am. So we have a Trans Am badge there. Of course, the bird on the front there. I like the blue and silver in there. That's a nice contrast with the purple. Here's the front of it there. I guess I can... T oh. It doesn't say anything on the bottom. It's a good thing that I know what this is because it doesn't say what it is. Pretty cool. There's the uh, interior, which probably won't focus since it never does. The blue Hot Wheels badge back there. Of course, the side reflectors there. Pretty cool. Alright, then we'll just go across the rows after that. Don't care at all about this. But it's in there. There's two cars in here I don't like at all. From the side it looks cool, but I don't know. This is kind of just strange. But I'm not much for the, the fantasy cars. The old fantasy cars were cool, but I haven't cared much for any of the new ones. Uh, this is called Cyber Speeder. I don't know if this is true or not. 
this look like the wheels that glow in the dark. I don't know if they are or not. They may just be white plastic. We do have a little driver. Little driver in there though. And um, it's got some... I mean, the graphics are cool, but I don't like how it's all just down the front of the car here. There's, like, no windshield or anything. Oh, it's got two drivers in it. Or maybe... No, he's a passenger. There's the driver. He's holding on to the steering wheel. Here's the back of the car. All right, let's get this thing out of the way, then we'll get into the the rest of the good ones here. I always start with the exclusive, and then I try to go across the row, but I would like to get these out of the way. This is some kind of weird spider car. Speed Spider. This kind of purple clear plastic. Looks like the seat is in the center there. Got some Hot Wheels badges there and there. Your engine back there. Spider's eyes are right here. They're not showing up very well. There they are. All right. We have a pretty green car here. This is a Nissan Z, I believe. Yeah, Nissan 370Z. I knew it was a Z car, but that's all I could remember. I couldn't think of what the number was. There's the front of it there. This side we have the Z badge on the uh, front, on the back of the front fender there. The one that won't focus. There you go. Still looks like the old logo, kind of. It looks like we were supposed to have a Nissan decal, or Nissan emblem, I should say, on the back. It doesn't look like it got stamped out correctly. We have the 370, 370Z badge, though. So they put decals on the back and the sides. Why didn't they just do the front? There's just headlights there and a badge. Whatever. All right. This is my... Second favorite, th third favorite one in here. Looks like we're going backwards here. Uh, the Mattel 75th anniversary car. The This casting is called Circle Tracker. Sure, I was pretty sure that's which one this was, but I didn't want to say that. Um, now, the reason this car is so cool. Okay, there you got your Mattel badge on the, the hood there. Um, it has all of Mattel's brands on there. Uno, Barbie, uh, I can't read about that one is. Matchbox, Masters, Monster High, AG, Polly, Chatty Cathy, and then there's three here I can't read. Oops, sorry, right there. Oh, Fisher-Price, which I didn't know that Mattel made Fisher-Price, but apparently they do. Uh, I think that might be, say, Thomas and Friends, which they do make the trains for the Thomas stuff. And that that one up there next to Chatty Cathy, I can't read. But it's, it's cool because it's got a lot of their brands on here. Or probably all of their brands on here. But I think that's really cool. And then the gold wheels with the gold numbers on there looks pretty neat. So I really, really like this car. I think this car is really cool. Got your uh, safety net there. The car has a gold interior. Kind of a NASCAR style interior. All right. We have the... Datsun truck. You can take your pick whether it's rusty or just a matte red, oxidized dark red paint job. 
This is a Datsun 620. They actually painted the letters in on the tailgate. I love that. That means I don't have to do that. Um, I really like the old Datsun trucks like this. I actually looked at one, when I was looking for a truck. I actually looked at one. I think the one I looked at was a 68 Datsun pickup. And um, it was a little brighter red than this. Um, but it was, a, it was a really, really nice truck. It was all original. It was a really nice looking truck. Uh, I did not, if you guys watch my channel, you know I ended up not getting that truck. But, um, uh, it was a really nice truck. It's just very small. You couldn't haul too much in the back of it. But, th these are still, these are just really cool trucks. Let's just say JDM Legends on the door. Have a Datsun badge up there. It's got fender flares on it here. It's probably one of my favorite uh, versions of this cast, variations of this casting, I should say. Got a Hot Wheels badge back here. I just really like this color. The color with the white wall tires really suits this truck, I think. That's awesome. All right, that was my second favorite one. Here's my first favorite one, my absolute favorite one, I should say, in this package. Even though they changed this casting so the body's plastic, it's still my favorite car in this. Um, this is, see, they they actually, usually when they're an old, old casting, they don't usually put the the original year in there, but they did. 75 and then comma 2012 is when they brought it back out usually if they're back past the 80s they usually don't put the uh year the original year in there but i have here the uh 35th anniversary of corvette here this is an original one with the metal base this is what the base used to look like on the original one versus what it looks like now it doesn't even say Corvette Stingray anywhere on the on the bottom of this car. But it does on this one. But yeah, I, I love the retro slots wheels. Not just on this car, but just in general. I think those are pretty cool looking wheels. Um, I'd like to see them on some more cars. Maybe since they're not using them on the... Um, the cool classic series anymore maybe they'll start putting them on some more like mainline cars it does not appear to have an interior in it because i can see I can see when i put my finger in front of the back wheel well there uh i can see where the axle is connected to the uh, chassis yeah so it doesn't have an interior the original car oh When windows are different. They're different. These are different years of Corvettes. See how see the windows are different. So this would be a slightly newer version than this one, and that's why they didn't just use this interior, which is one piece with the windows. All right, that's why this looked a little different to me. I just thought maybe yeah, I wasn't. I don't know. All right, the back window's different. That's what looks different about it. But anyway, it says Corvette on the uh, side there. That's kind of an 80s font for the Corvette. Um, I can't think of the last year for this body style. Right now, I can't think of it, but it doesn't matter. Um, now, you can see more of the lines in this car a little better than you can on the old one. Uh, the... The headlights are cast in there a little deeper than on, on this one. Part of that could be this is plastic. It's not painted. This one's painted. The old cars had pretty thick paint on them. They covered up a lot of the uh, casting lines. But, yeah, the back end of this car, the, win the back window is different. Uh, the taillights are also not punched in as deep as you can see. Yeah, so this one's a little bit newer 
uh, than that other one. Still really cool though. All right, we have two more here. It's like a Camaro, I think this is, yeah. A 69 Camaro. Not a whole lot of stuff on that base. Uh, some really cool graphics on it. We have the Camaro badge there on the quarter panel. It says Goodyear down there on the door. It's a really pretty dark blue color with a black interior. Pretty cool one. And uh, then we have the Mini Cooper. Uh, this one doesn't still come up. Nope. The, uh, now this is an old Mini Cooper. This would probably say Morris Mini on the bottom. Yeah, Morris Mini it says on the bottom. Now, um, it's been 10 or 12 years ago now. Uh, yeah, this says 2014 on the bottom. Uh, when they came out with this car, when Hot Wheels came out with this car, it had a little lock back here and you could pull the lock back and you could take the body off of the chassis and the chassis had this little roll cage in it. And... Without the body on it, honestly, it looked like some type of dune buggy car. It was it was a really cool, really cool feature um, for this car, but obviously they don't do that anymore. The lock would have been back here. It's just a little tab you pulled, and it released a tab in this trunk section here. That that tab would 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 pull back in and release the body from the chassis, and then in the front. You know, you just pull this down. The grill kind of held the chassis in. So, still a really, really cool car, though. I really like the emerald green with the checkered flag top. That's a really cool checkerboard top, I should say. Got some racing stripes on the hood there. Red Hot Wheels badge, or emblem, or whatever. Logo, I guess, would be the correct term. Oh, my. A emerald green car with a green interior. That's a lot of green. It would appear this has one seat. Definitely a race car. Yep, just one seat. Oops, sorry. It's got the nice steel wheels on it, like uh, like this Datsun here. I think the ones on this Cooper are slightly bigger. Nope. This is not a Mini. I keep saying it's a Mini Cooper. This is just a Mini. <laughs> there were Morris Minis at the time. They were not... Uh, if they had not been badged Cooper quite yet. This is probably a 60s model. I don't know. Somewhere around there. But anyway... Really, really cool five-pack here. We just had a couple off-the-wall cars hiding back there. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe for more. Have a great day. I'll catch you in the next video. And uh, the next video will be one more nine-pack. And then we're done with these packages. We can get back to the regular videos. And um, that'll be it. Have a great day.